Hey guys, my name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going over my February reading journal spreads and we will also review January as well. So this is the first page of the January stuff. Obviously this is our calendar. The only change really on this page here is the new releases. I did actually decide to highlight the new releases that I have either read already or purchased. So a couple of these were ARCs. Most of them though I have purchased and have not read yet. Moving into the read every day and page tracker spreads, I actually did read every day of January except for the first three days. I think I talked about that in my setup video for this. I filmed that like on the 4th or 5th and I just didn't read the first three days of the month. It was just still so busy getting out of December, getting into January, so that did not happen. However, I'm actually very happy with the reading I did do. I read 3,021 pages, which is pretty darn good. I think I'm trying this year for an average of 2,000 pages a month because that doesn't sound like too much to me. I'm trying to give myself a little bit of leeway this year and it sounds like a reasonable number so I'm very happy that I got to the 3,000. Then we have the TBR spread that I had. The only thing that I did not end up reading this month in January um, were two of the arcs that I have. I got so behind on those near the end of 2020 and one of my really big goals this year in 2021 is to get back on track with ARCs and read them ahead of time which I was doing really really good last year but I got behind and probably don't request anything that comes out like after October. That way I have a little bit more room for holidays at the end of the year even though you know last year we weren't able to do a lot of stuff it just felt very busy the red by daylight spread i really love this readathon concept that bear has done i will leave the link to all the readathon stuff that i'm going to be talking about down below and they have so much lore with these readathons however my reading in january did not give me much. I was only able to do a book that has strong themes of family and I actually went with books because I actually had a couple of them that are more found family-esque. I really did enjoy the books that I read but I didn't read anything by an author with a pseudonym as far as I know and I definitely didn't read anything that had more than one author. So yeah I sort of failed the first Read by Daylight. I don't know if that means I died or what, but I'm very excited about February's, so we will talk about that when we get there. Then we had the Totally 80s Readathon, which is the pop culture readathon hosted by Whitney from Life Whitney on Twitter. Again, I will leave all the information down below. And I only got one bingo this month. And that was on the Elm Street board. I got Lost Boys for Vampire Lore, No More Wire Hangers for Family Dynamics, and Alien for Space Opera. I did do at least a couple on every single board. Actually, I say a couple. I did two on the Brat Pack board and four on every other board. So I read enough. Um, but the prompts, I wasn't picking books that necessarily fit the prompts. And so I was just checking things off as I went. I still really love this readathon and this concept that Whitney does, but I got one bingo total. My favorite book of the month was Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelis. I did actually talk about this in my wrap up, so I will leave that link down below, but I absolutely love this book. It just gave me so many feels. I had a sense of anticipation like every single time I read it, and I need the sequel slash finale like so so soon but I think it's coming out closer to the end of summer beginning of fall so I have a little while to wait but I loved it so much. Then I also have my haul here. This is a bigger haul than I will do in future months hopefully mostly because my birthday was in January so I was spoiled with some presents. Again I will leave the haul video link down below in case you want to see exactly what I have here and then I have my quotes page. I only had four real quotes in the month um, that really stuck out to me and these are the ones that I really loved. So we have humans were made of contradictions from Persephone Station. There were a hundred, a thousand, a million different ways to be a girl and that all of them were valid from Down Among the Sticks and Bones. 
Only in times without did you truly learn what you were made of from where dreams descend. And, okay, this one, yeah, it has some bad language, but I love this quote so freaking much. It says, you know my sexual inclinations, Rosie said, so unless you've grown a cock since the last time I saw you, I'd recommend not trying to fuck me <laughs> from Persephone Station. I love that one so much. And then we have the books read spread. So I actually did read 11 books in January. I put all the covers in here and I just absolutely love the way that it looks once I have them in the book because I have all my notes and everything because I'm really bad about like character names and certain things that I want to talk about in my wrap ups. But yes, and then we have my stats. So for the format of the book, I did read one ebook, two ARCs, two audiobooks, and six physical books. For star rating, I had one two star, two three stars, two four stars, two four and a half stars, and four five stars. And then for age category, I had one middle grade, four young adult, and six adult titles. So that is everything from January. We're now going to move into February. So I use mostly everything sticker wise from Sticky Club. The pack that I used the most is the Love Bites pack, which is the one that we got in January. And I didn't do an unboxing of that because I just didn't have time. Things got away from me, but that's where most of the Valentine-y stickers are from. So like the flowers, the chocolate slash coffee things, the little like my cat loves me, happy Valentine's Day to me, I love you. And then we had like, these are like conversation hearts, but they're like sort of mean. So we have like whatever, get real, hard pass, as if, over it. I just really, really love the stuff that they came there with. Uh, and then I did do the same thing last month in January where I had a Capricorn girl. This is an Aquarius girl from a constellation pack no i can't remember what it was called but a space themed pack and then i had this one from me time two i think there's this one was one of the ones from like a stationery i can't remember the pack's name but yeah so again we have the same sort of layout here um my mom's birthday's in february one of my niece's birthdays is in february lunar new year this year is in february we have valentine's day the Demonathon is one of the readathons that I'm planning on doing, and that's from the 14th through the 28th. So we have a lot of stuff going on. And then we also have the new releases for February. And it looks like to me that there's not as many February ones that I was super, super excited about as January. But you know, that's just what happens sometimes. Moving in to the next page, we have the Read Every Day and Page Tracker spreads. So this, as you can see, I have read every day so far in February, um, but yeah, obviously it takes me a little while to get these pages and everything set up. It takes me multiple days to actually get everything set up. I do not ever have enough time to just sit down and do it all in one day. So by the time I have figured out how many pages worth of books I need for like the month beforehand, then it ends up turning into the next month before I'm able to actually film this. So yeah, um, it's actually, I think, the fifth today, so I haven't filled in yesterday's stuff yet, but so far, so good. And then we have my TBR. February might be the shortest month of the year, however, my TBR is out of control. I think when I filmed my TBR video, I only had like six or seven books that I said I was going to try to read. Um, this is 16, 16 books. Some of them are arcs that I'm trying to get ahead on, and then other ones are books that fit the TBR that I said I was going to do, and or readathons. So yes, um, I do actually have one checked off already, so I'm super happy about that. And then over here we have the Red by Daylight. Um, this one I really did want to keep the title up at the top, however, Bear has so much more lore this time that I ran out of room. So it is on the side. The font color and stuff isn't the best. I tried black, but I had black around the edges. I tried white, but then it went on the white a little bit. So we have silver. It's not the best, but that's what it is. And so this month we have the technology demon and it's all based around an app that's called like friend look. I think it's supposed to be like Facebook 
but also like Tinder for friends almost. I don't know exactly, but there is lore to it. I love, love, love when Bear does the lore because they are so creative. It's like a short story every single time. And then we have three prompts. The first one is the app friend look matches you with other users who share similar physical features. Read a book with a cover similar to one of your favorites. For that one, I'm going to be reading The Last True Vampire by Kate Baxter. That is a paranormal romance book with a naked man's chest on the cover, and I have read some other books that are very similar. The one that came to mind right away is the Night Prince series by Janine Frost. I really did enjoy those ones, and it's also a paranormal romance series with vampires with a naked chest of a man on the cover, so it works. Number two, the technology demon works its way through your friends list, targeting them one by one. Read a book you heard about online. For that one, I'm going to be going with From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I have never heard of this book in real life. Every single time I hear people talk about this book, it is on book Twitter or booktube, and then it actually won the romance category in 2020 on Goodreads. So every single thing I've heard about this book is online. So that's the one I'm planning on reading. And then number three, Friend Look began with a very niche user base until it was popularized by television commercials and swept the nation. Read a book with a film or TV adaption. So for that one, I'm going with Artemis Fowl by Owen Colfer. I have read this book many, many times before. Um, but in one of the other readathons that we'll get to in just a second, we have to reread a book. And so that's the one I'm going with. It's going to be super easy because it's a middle grade and I love it. And then for the Red by Daylight, we also have a survivor perk, basically. And we do not have to use this in the month. If we do not use it in the month that you're in, you can roll it over to other months. That's why I have a box here in case I decide to use it. And this one says, Brielle Beaumont allows readers to use her special perk. They can match with friends and ignore one prompt, replacing it with a buddy read. I am doing a buddy read this month, but I think I want to try and actually hit the prompts based on the things that I said over here, because then I can save this for another month if I need it. More readathons. This is the month of the readathons. So the next readathon that takes place all month, because I think I forgot to say it, Read by Daylight is a month long readathon every single month of the year. And then this is the Fantasy Romance Readathon or Pharaoh Feb. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. But this is one that I saw on Instagram and I had to participate because I have a lot of fantasy romance or I'm also including some paranormal romance books because paranormal is a subset of fantasy. I think it works if it has a fantasy plot slash paranormal plot and a romance plot that basically have the same amount of time on page. So that's what I'm going with. But I have a lot of those books I have not read. And so I'm very, very excited that this is a whole readathon for this. It also fits perfect for February in case, you know, people want some romance books in their lives. And so we have two bingo boards. You can double up prompts however you want to do it. I basically just looked at my list of books I wanted to read this month and picked out all the paranormal romance, fantasy romance things and put them on here and then we will fit them onto the bingo boards as we go. But I do want to read From Blood and Ash, A Deal with the Elf King, Wolf Song, Big Bad Wolf, Song of Blood and Stone, and The Last True Vampire. Then moving into Demonathon, this is a two week ish long readathon that is happening from the 14th through the 28th. And I'm very, very excited for this. This we did have to go on the website on February 1st and figure out the prompts through like a scavenger hunt type of thing. It was actually really, really fun. But because of that, I do have more books added to my TBR than in my February TBR video because I filmed that at the end of January and we weren't able to actually find the prompts for this until February started. But we do have six prompts. One is to read a book with a dark colored cover. I'm going to be going with Wolf Song. Read a book set in winter or the snow. I'm going to be going with The Arctic Incident, which is the second Artemis Fowl book. Read something you have already read. So a reread, that is going to be The Artemis Fowl. Read a book about strangers meeting. Um, I'm pretty sure that this book has strangers meeting and then romance stuff happens. So I'm going with A Deal with the Elf King. Read a book that's been on your TBR shelf forever. I'm going with The Delta Anomaly. Um, according to Goodreads, I have been wanting to read this since 2012. And I'm pretty sure I bought that 
pretty recently after I said I wanted to read it. So you could have said anything physically that's been on your TBR forever or on Goodreads forever and this fits for both basically. And then read a book by a black author and I will be doing Song of Blood and Stone. Then you will see I've had a color scheme change because February is supposed to be pink and red. I pulled out this blue paper because I was originally going to do it for the fantasy romance instead of this purple, but then I found the purple and I just sort of had the blue and blue is my favorite color and I completely forgot I had a theme going, especially since when I was making these pages, I was doing these two and these two on one day. And that means I wasn't using any of the pinks and reds and I completely, just completely spaced that I had a theme going. So I'm not mad at it because I really like how it turned out, but I had color themes and it didn't, I didn't do it. But this is where we're gonna have probably like favorite book and haul or opposite. I am really hoping not to have too many books to haul in February, but we shall see. And then this will be where we have favorite quotes. And then we are on the book's red spread. As you can sort of see here, I actually have filled in the first eight boxes already. A lot of the books that I've read so far are graphic novels or short stories, or I've had one book where I've DNF'd it so far, but I've already read quite a bit in the first few days of February. So I have then filled in the next eight. I don't know if I'm gonna need to have any more than this, continuing into the next month or what, but yes, I am prepared for a lot of reading. And then that is it. So I'm very, very excited for these readathons, which is why I'm doing them. I absolutely love readathons that are like one or two weeks long. I love the month long ones still, don't get me wrong, but there's just something about the one or two week long ones that don't make me feel like I have to make all of my reading in one month only about that one readathon. Because sometimes if I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do this one readathon, every single thing that I read in that month will be too tied into this, and I feel like I don't get to choose my books as much. Where if it's like one or two weeks long, it feels like more of like a fun challenge for a limited amount of time, and then I can do whatever the freak I want after. But yeah, so very, very excited about the readathons. I have a huge TBR and only 28 days to do it, although by now probably like 23. But yes, I hope you guys liked the color scheme on this one. I actually really enjoyed it. One thing that I did not realize because I was just picking color themes, I should have known because like it's February, pink and red and stuff, Valentine's Day, whatever, but our Aquarius girl is wearing a pink dress as well. I wasn't looking at her when I was picking colors. I just knew I wanted to use her and then had everything else done and then was like, Put her there. Oh look, she's wearing a pink dress. It just worked out perfectly. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos. I do have videos up Mondays, Thursdays, and sometimes Saturdays. So I will see you then. Bye! Space, 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 space